What's going on here? Alright guys, so I don't know what we're going to get up to this weekend quite yet, it's all spur of the moment, all I know is I need to get somewhere cooler, it's going to be 115 degrees tomorrow, oh hell no, and it's going to be 95 in Prescott, so let's go check that out, because 20 degrees cooler is better than nothing, right, I'll take that any day, we'll see you at the next pit stop, see you there. So, I did pull into this little pull-in. I don't even know if this is a uh, campsite here. It's a pull-in right across from a mining claim, but it's down the hills away and it's got no reception down here. So, unfortunately, with no cell reception, I don't really want to stay down here in the woods. Uh, I mean, I could, but... Uh, Sometimes you just really want those luxuries in life, like cell reception. Beautiful spot. Look at that. My van just sitting in the woods. Lots of hills out here. Uh, for those of you back in Australia that uh, probably don't know much about the uh, Arizona area, uh, this is the town where they based the film. I think it's called Only the Brave or something like that. Uh, about the firefighters uh, that, that lost their lives in the great big fire uh, come out a few years ago. Yeah, this is the town where that happened. Uh, it was based on a true story. 19 men lost their lives. Uh, very sad story. Obviously being pine forest, this uh, area is very prone to uh, fires out here. Alright, so we are going to try find somewhere else. I don't know where but I'm wanting cell reception so if I can get cell reception I will get cell reception alrighty guys so I'm in a Walmart parking lot here that's where I stayed for the night I just woke up now it's getting a bit warm so get up it's about 85 degrees or something outside right now which means it's around 90 something in here so I turned the fan back on I'm gonna get a quick coffee near my coffee of course you know in this area of Prescott I mean, currently Prescott Valley, because that's where the Walmart's at, but Prescott, the town itself, is about 15 minutes that way. <clears throat> we do have Lynx Lake, Goldwater Lake, uh, Wilcox Lake or something like that, Thumb Butte Mountain, which is pretty cool. I've uh, got Whiskey Road, they actually have the markets on at the town square today, so that might be cool to check out. Uh, we may actually go check that out first, even though Lynx Lake is here in Prescott Valley. I kind of want to check the markets out while they're going on. I wouldn't mind going out into the woods and doing some exploring, so that might be an option later as well. Alrighty, get a get a coffee, and we'll see you into the next stop.
Honda, you know? Instead of a trunk. Oh man, that is delicious. It's like a whiskey caramel fudge shell. Um, ice cream with hot fudge on top. It's really good. And behind me here, we got this smokehouse. I don't know if, uh, if I get a chance later, maybe I'll go check that out. That smells really delicious, all the smoke coming out of there. So we just, uh, I was about to leave and then I crossed the road and uh, we found this uh, really cool place to eat. It's a little food trailer. It's uh, called the uh, Baron Dragon. That's a kind of cool name. And uh, got myself a coffee. Coffee? And check this out. Look at that. We got bacon, we got turkey, ham, pesto, tomato. Alright, let's give it a bite, hey? Oh yeah. That's delicious. Look at that. Alright, so if you guys get a chance, come on down to Prescott here the uh, Baron Dragon over near the uh, town square here. They got coffee, they got drinks, all sorts of stuff. Obviously I needed my coffee. Alright, I'm gonna chow down. We'll see you on the next spot. Alright, we are here at Goldwater Lake. Let's have a look around. So I'm doing the uh, Goldwater Lake Loop Trail. It goes around the entirety of the lake. This is actually uh, one of my favorite lakes. Well, this is my favorite lake here in Prescott. And everybody likes Lynx Lake, but I like this one. Ooh, because you get way more wildlife in this lake. Uh, I always see deer and squirrels and ducks and all sorts of uh, animals in. We may stop at another lake, I don't know yet. See how we go. I'm hoping to spot some squirrel and some deer today. Right, let's keep going. Let's go up in the woods. Is it there? How you doing, old fella? Lost all mate. 
so beautiful out here. Look at it. Look at the lake, the woods. It's so good to be out here and free, free of uh, everyday life troubles. This is where, this is where I feel at home in the wilderness. Sometimes I feel like that guy in uh, Into the Wild who just had to escape society and get out to the beauty of nature. I think I need to make a point of more often as much as possible being out here in nature, exploring, adventuring, living life. That's how a lot of uh, us end up in the van life, I guess. We just need to break away from society, do our own thing for a while. Met some great people through van life and discovered there's a whole community out there just like me with the same searching for the same thing in life been through the same struggles we all get it you know we all get it this is what life is supposed to be about uh, i have not seen any deer around just probably because it's just too many people at the lake here we will keep searching though if i have to go deeper into the woods i will Definitely have a lot of bird life up in the trees today. I can hear them all going crazy. Hello sir, how are you today? Could I have a moment of your time? Sir. 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 Have a birdie. So I'm up on the hill here. I guess I startled a deer. I was looking for whatever that smell was. Maybe it was a maybe it wasn't a dead smell, but it smelled like something dead to me, but maybe it's deer urine or something. But I just startled this deer and happened on top of the hill and went running off, so unfortunately I didn't not get that on video, but I'm gonna follow the top of the hill and see if I can catch it. I think there's some mountain bike riders up the top. Probably about to run into that deer. There he is. The deer's right in front of me, through those trees. I guess he didn't go far. I'm exhausted. This hill just took it out of me. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. There goes the deer. Oh man. <laughs> well. I just seen the deer running off that way. I don't think I'm gonna see that deer again. Maybe we'll see a couple more on the way. Hello deer, what you do? Is that my buddy from before? Oh, there's another one right there. I think it's a couple of mule deer having a little nap there on the trail. I don't know if you can see it, I'll try to zoom in on the editing. One ran off, but one's laying right in front of me, just staring at me. I think she thinks she's camouflaged. Hello, Muleus. How you do? I'll leave you alone. Bye-bye. Look at this huge dam wall down here. Squirrel. Big old fat squirrel over there.
now guys. So I just had to have a quick little stop and show you the view up on top of the mountain here. You can uh, see from here part of the town and you can see a Thumb Butte mountain over here. Let's have a look. I've actually hiked this mountain before. Over on the other side of town there you can see Thumb Butte mountain. Very cool. See uh, those mountains over there. I don't know what the name of those ones are. I don't know if that's part of Granite Mountain or if Granite Mountain's way further over that way or not. Anyway. What's going on here?